you may be watching or listening and you're not a Christian, you say, well, how does that apply to me? Listen very carefully. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. Let me explain that. If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, that means that you are saying that you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and He's the Lord of our life. And in so doing, you're placing your life in His hands because of who He is, for the forgiveness of your sins because of what He did at the cross. You're asking Him to forgive you of your sins, to give you the gift of eternal life, and the work of the Holy Spirit within you to enable you to live a godly life all the days of your life. If you ask Him to do that, you have the promise. Listen, you have the promise of the Word of God, 66 books of the Bible. You have the promise that He will do exactly what He says He will do. He will forgive you, cleanse you, give you the gift of eternal life, save you forever, give you a home in heaven and walk with you every single day the rest of your life. But it's conditioned upon your surrender of your life to Christ, confessing your sins, and looking to the cross as full payment of your sin. You may be going through a very difficult time, and you're asking the question, where is God? You're not a believer. You never trusted Jesus as your Savior. Let me tell you where He is. He's where He's always been. Just outside, listen, just outside the door of your heart. Trying to get in. And he wants you to open the door of your heart and let him in. And the moment you do, life will change. And it can happen to you the moment you do that. Father, how grateful we are that you are so perfect. We can find no blemishes in your character or failures in your power, but absolutely perfection, holy, righteous, and just. I pray the Spirit of God will speak to every person who hears this message to recognize the only way to live is through Christ, serving you, Father, this awesome God that we've described. And I pray that every person who hears it will stop fighting against you and recognize that you are the one true God. That's how Jesus described you as he prayed in that 17th chapter of John. We know that you are. I pray, Father, for people who are floundering in their life, trying to figure out what to do. Enable them to understand at least this much now. You are the answer. You've always been the answer. You're still knocking and you're still waiting. And they can settle that issue. We thank you that the promise you made to save us, you've been keeping ever since you made it. The promise you made to guide us, you've been keeping that promise ever since you made it. And all the rest. We want to say we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.